community that worshiping Allah cannot be a leading community in the world or do we just only a supporting unit how can we deal with that society how we as a muslim respond with this and is there any alternative for that there are two responses one is micro and the other is macro the macro response requires that we wage a struggle to get dinner and Ram recognized as legal tender, but that is prohibited by the IMF. So we have to defy the IMF to declare dinar and dirham as legal tender. <laughs> Not even Iran has done that. Not even Iran. No country in the world of Islam is showing any sign at all that they have prepared any government to establish dinar and dirham as legal tender. The situation is hopeless. Those who believe they can change the governments, go ahead and do it. <laughs> I will watch you. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think that the macro response will succeed but we can try we can try you need a revolution <laughs> to bring dinar and dirham as legal tender if the macro response is not possible then the micro response must be pursued but even the micro response our people are showing no interest The micro response is the establishment of micro markets in the remote countryside in which dinar and dirham will be used for buying and selling. Uh -huh. Now shall we move to vaccination right now? Many of Muslim countries is forcing not only Muslim countries, all around the world forcing vaccination for the travel or for their daily activities when it's COVID time. What do you think first about the vaccine itself? And second, is there any alternative for the vaccine by the Muslim since their beginning? I mean, when they have a children, the baby, it have a so many Compulsory, compulsory vaccinations. Do we in Islam have a concept of vaccination according your knowledge? Eh? It is with medical knowledge, not knowledge of the Quran. Medical knowledge that we can determine whether a vaccine is halal or haram. I can't do that. I'm not with many good expertise. <laughs> However, when a virus comes, 
concept of vaccine in Islam, sir? Do you know about it? The medical doctor will have to answer you, not me. Okay. 